Hey guys, this is my newest project, Project Natural Nano, and what we have here is a Mr. Aqua tank. This tank is actually discontinued in this size, it's 10.7 gallons, no longer exists on the website. And this is a rimless uh, tank. Uh, as you can see, I have some gutter screen in there, and that's just to um, give myself some bedding so um, the rocks that I put in won't be on top of the glass. So it'll kind of provide a buffer there for the glass. So what I plan to do first is I plan to lay down the sand on top of the gutter screen, and then I'll be taking out two rocks uh, from the 10-gallon uh, marine land tank. So this 10 gallon marine land tank will be replaced by a Project Natural Nano. And the reason I'm calling it natural is um, I've got a Finex hang on back refugium, which will be a uh, place to grow some macro algae once um, everything is all set up. Um, I'll be getting some macro algae from my friend Gary and putting it in the refugium section of uh, the hang on back, I'll be taking out the carbon and the bio uh, max at that point and probably just leave the foam in uh, to catch uh, larger particles. So uh, my plans are to put a small enough heater in here to heat everything, uh, therefore keeping as much possible out of the tank. So. Um, the design here is that there will be a pump attached to the bottom. Uh, right now, I'm probably going to be using a 80 GPH um, pump, which is about eight times the volume uh, needed or the volume uh, of this tank. Um, I'm leaning towards maybe going up to like 200 GPH at some point, but I'm just going to start with this because I do have an 80. 85 uh, GPH pump handy uh, that's not doing anything right now so um, I will go ahead and come back once I have some sand lay down and uh, maybe some rocks and some water so I just want to introduce you to my new project and um, this will be where the Kessel uh, A80 tuna uh, blue will be residing from from now on, I believe. It's a beautiful light. Um, I went ahead and put the stock hood back on the Marineland uh, 10 gallon, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, give this tank to my mother at some point uh, once I have uh, this one up and running. So um, I'm probably going to be giving her uh, a pair of clowns along um, with some live rock and some other things she'll need. And um, yeah, so that'll be a whole nother project, but something hopefully she can handle. Hey again. I'm out of breath recording this because uh, I just brought up some salt water from the basin two flights up. And. What I have here is a unsettled tank. <clears throat> I hooked up a temporary pump to the uh, hang on back Finex, the pump that came with it, which is a very low flow pump, but it's going to at least get some water flow going through the tank right now until I decide um, which way I'm going to go um, with the pump upgrade. So, I've got a heater in there just to get the water up to normal temperatures. I'm, I actually put five pounds of live sand in. I didn't put 10 pounds. I'm going to start off with five. See how that goes. I kind of want to keep like a low profile on this tank. So, I think I'm going to remain the same way with the... Uh, Live rock. I'm not gonna. 
go too overboard with the live rock. Um, this will most likely be a, a fish only tank for now. Um, once I put the natural filtration in. So um, I'm actually going to be going away for five days. So um, I will probably put a little bit of um, brine shrimp in the tank just to get the cycle going. And that way uh, when I come back everything will be all set. Uh, the tuna blue looks great with the water cloudy like that. It's awesome. Um, the camera doesn't do it justice. But trust me, it's awesome looking. Um, but I'll be turning the tuna blue off um, while I'm gone. And hopefully this tank will have um, cycled quite a bit by the time I get back. So that's where I'm at now on this project. And I'll check back with you later for uh, more video. Thank you for watching.